Well, Rob, after four weeks of Premiership battle, it's now into the Champions Cup, and I know from your perspective, you've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the change up as a competition, you know, and I like the fact we're going into a competition where we can just show the best of ourselves and put other people under pressure, and kind of you can just go out there and, as I say, show what you're all about without without then having that worry that there's going to be something negative come out at the end of it if you don't qualify or if a couple of games don't go so well. And I, and I write, really like that kind of thing where it's a bit do or die. It's all you know, all or nothing really, you can go after it. And I think going away to Ospreys is a great start for us. There, there really should be the team under pressure up there, you know, home game and then they go away to Clermont next week. You know, that's a pretty tough start for them. And I think if we can start well and show our good qualities and put them under a little bit of pressure, you know, we can make it a really interesting game up there. How encouraged have you been about the performance of the boys so far? You know, three wins and, and one really narrow defeat. Yeah, I mean, the, real, the reality is I suppose we've shown a lot of maturity, really. Um, and we're showing that we're growing up a little bit aside so far. But at the same time, as I've said to quite a few, it's still quite a short period. We're only four games into the, into the season. You know, it feels like a lot longer. We've been watching the World Cup and we've watched the pre-season. It feels, you know, the weather's starting to change. It feels quite late. But actually, you know, most of the boys are fit and fresh and raring to go and wanting to get stuck into this, what should be a very exciting thing for us. You know, we worked very hard to get here uh, into the top six and I'd be disappointed if now we're here. We kind of just see these fixtures through um, and don't really kind of show our best in them. You know this is almost the next best to a test match quite often at this level. And yeah. Are you expecting that? You know, the Ospreys are going to have a fully loaded squad now with Welsh boys back. Are you yeah. expecting a much different Ospreys to perhaps what's been playing so far oh, this season? Definitely. I mean, obviously, personnel-wise, they'll be a lot different. Um, and the way that the focus will be different. You know, everyone, everyone kind of knows the regional sides. They kind of build themselves up for this period, the start of the European Games. Slightly different challenge in the Premiership because you've You've kind of got to get off to a bit of a flyer and you've got to do well, otherwise you can end up in the relegation zone and you can get yourself almost out of the league before it even starts. And I think for us, it's more about a shift of focus rather than a build towards these games. So, you know, we've been building towards being very good in the first round of the Premiership. Now we've got to shift our focus to seeing if we can, you know, accelerate and intensify into these two European games. It's two years since we were last in the Champions Cup. The club has come on so much in that time. It, and the development of players and their own experiences yeah. have come on a lot more. Do you feel we're, we're yeah, in a better I mean, position now? I think now, I think, I think notably some of our players are in a better position now because they had experience in the in the Heineken Cup two years ago. You know, games against Toulon and, you know, remember Henry Slade coming in at the last minute away at Toulon. You know, those are fantastic experiences and they can only benefit you as a player. And I think we're reaping some of those rewards now and I would like to think we'll reap more in the years to come if we can get some continued development in this competition and that's our aim. Our aim is to be in this competition as often as we can and when we're in it we aim to be as good in it as we possibly can. Looking at the training today, the squad's looking in fine fair for boys out there training squad wise you, you're going in with near enough a full strength squad which is, yes. is a positive as well. Yeah that's right, I mean I say I, we're only four games in and the majority of the players are absolutely round to go, they're loving playing rugby, they're enjoying the results we get in the moment, enjoying the way we're playing, um, you know they're looking after each other as a side and you know, I think that's all you can ask of them. You know, it's, it's a very positive place to be at the moment, but you know, that's what we have to keep reminding ourselves, that the wins have come on the back of hard work and good preparation. They've not come just because we joined around during the week and decided to go out and run around and play a game of rugby. They've come from some massive physical commitment, particularly the uh, Leicester game this weekend, and, and that massive physical commitment is going to be needed in the next two weeks if we want to want to get anything out of these two weeks. You talked about the Leicester <coughs> game being an acid test for the boys. Have you? Now they've come through it. Do you now see that they've got that hard edge about them? And having played Leicester, uh, sorry, London Irish and Newcastle, not necessarily being yeah. tested that much. I think again, I think it's you could, you could say yes on that one test, um, but obviously what you have to do to have a good season, you've got to come through quite a few of those tests. You know, last year we ended up with a good season, but it was a good season that required us being Saracens home and away, Northampton home and away. You know, there's still some big tests ahead for us. We're coming through them at the moment, and I suppose that's all you can do is, is meet them one at a time. Um, and that's right, you know, I'd, I'd rather not talk about the Leicester game now, I'd rather, I'd rather us be judged on this performance. And that's what I'll say to the players at the end of the week, you know, let's, let's forget about the Leicester game now. You don't, don't get judged on whether you can beat Leicester or not, let's get judged on how we perform against the Ospreys. Uh, make sure it brings the best out of you, um, you know, and, and kind of don't sit on, don't rest on your laurels. You know, now if you're a really good player, you should be expected to be towards your best because in a normal year you'd be building up towards hoping to get selection into the Autumn Internationals uh, and that's what I'm going to challenge the players with. I expect to see the best of them now in the next two weeks, not, not a drop-off. Fantastic.